Hi everybody. In this video, I would like to explain the concept of procedure steps for getting impedance diagram from single line diagram. This topic is related to power system analysis. At the end of this video, we will be able to explain the concept of what is single line diagram what is impedance diagram and explain the concept of procedure steps for getting impedance diagram from single line diagram. Before going to the topic, first of all, I would give a simple note on single line diagram and impedance diagram. At first, regarding the single line diagram, it is a symbolic representation of a three phase electric power system. It is also called as one line diagram. Observe this diagram. This is the entire three phase power system. For the power system, we are having the generating unit, transmission and distribution section and then to the consumer premises. Whatever the power generated at the generating station is transferred through the transmission and distribution network to the consumer premises. And this entire network is called as a three phase network. This one is called as three phase power system. And I am represented this three phase power system into a single line diagram that is a symbolic representation that is like this fashion. This one is the generator and this one is the fader and this is the transformer and it is connected to the load. Whatever the power generating at the generating station is transferred to the consumer premises through a large amount of network called as transmission and distribution network. The elements present in the system, in this three phase power system that will be represented by the consideration of equivalent symbols. For the generating unit, I am simply represented here by this symbol and the transmission and distribution network, a transformer and then to the load. For your clear understanding, I am placing these two diagrams here. And next, the impedance diagram. Regarding the impedance diagram, the impedance diagram is the equivalent circuit of power system in which the various components of power system are represented by their approximate or simplified equivalent circuit. This is the equivalent impedance diagram of the power system. And this is related to the equivalent impedance diagram for our single line diagram. First of all, what I am saying here is the single line diagram we are obtained for the three phase power system and from that single line for that single line diagram we have to be obtained this uh, equivalent impedance diagram. Here most important point is that this particular impedance diagram is obtained in order for the solvation of the network. Here this will be obtained by simply the equivalent circuit of each and every particular parameter or the element which is present in our power system. This one is the power system that means that power system we are represented in a single line diagram and for this single line diagram for every component I am replaced with an equivalent element, equivalent circuit element. This one is the generator point that means it is represented with the letter or the element voltage and this one is the transmission line. This transmission line it is entirely represented with the equivalent element, equivalent circuit element that is the impedance value that is Z R plus J X L. Here I am represented here as R suffix T L. T L means the transmission line along with the one this is the resistance part and this is the reactance part the entire one is the impedance part 
J X T L X suffix T L T L represents the transmission line. This entire one is the impedance of the transmission line, and then after we are having another element called the transformer. That transformer is also represented by the equivalent circuit element that is the impedance part. This R suffix T R for the transformer and J X suffix T R for the transformer, the impedance part. That means all the elements, circuit elements, we have to be represented with their impedances values, with their impedances values. Then after we are having the load, and that load is represented here as P L plus J Q L. P L plus J Q L. P L represents the active power at the load, plus J Q L. Q L represents the reactive power at the load. Then after we are observing the voltage uh, points in this uh, impedance diagram, equivalent impedance diagram. This is the voltage V one, which is the generated voltage that is supplied to the circuit, and in between the one we are having a voltage that is we are represented a bus here. Two number two, the bus here. That's why we are represented here the voltage V two. Then at the load, and then at the bus three, bus three. This bus three is the load bus. At the load bus, we are represented the voltage value is the V three. The main motto is, we need to observe the what are the procedural steps for getting impedance diagram. This impedance diagram. From this single line diagram, we observe here the basic important points regarding the system, which are related to the per unit quantities. The base values of four quantities, that is voltage, power, current, and impedances. Of these four quantities, selection of base values for any two of them determines the base values of the remaining two. Then after you need to Obtain the per unit quantities. The general expression for the per unit quantities. Per unit quantity is equal to actual quantity by base quantity. I am going to the procedural steps. The first step is assume S base for the entire system. That is KVA base or MVA base. KVA base or MVA base. Kilo volt ampere, the base value of the kilo volt ampere or mega volt ampere base. This S is the apparent power. The S base is the base apparent power. And regarding the second step, assume or select a base value that is the base voltage KV base value, kilo volt base value. Already you have considered in the previous slide. We are considering the two quantities. From the two quantities, we are obtaining the remaining two. The third point: the voltage conversion is achieved by means of a transformer. That is, KV base on HT side is equal to KV base on LT side into HT voltage rating by LT voltage rating, and KV base on LT side is equal to KV base on HT side into LT voltage rating by HT voltage rating. Here, this HT and LT represents the high tension side and the low tension side of a transformer. Then, after regarding the fourth point, Z base is derived from the S base and the V base, and we are obtaining an expression in order to find out the new Z base value. That is by the consideration of the fifth point. That is, the new per unit impedance is obtained by converting the old per unit impedance on old base values to the new one. The actual expression is Z per unit is equal to Z actual by Z base. That is the per unit quantity we have to be. Uh, we will consider the quantities in terms of per unit. The Z per unit is equal to the actual value by. Base value that is the Z actual by Z base value. From this, we need to obtain the new Z per unit by the consideration of the old base values 
this is the finalized expression in order to getting the z p u nu this z p u nu is equal to z p u world into s base nu by s base world into v base world by v base nu whole square by the consideration of all these steps we need to obtain the impedance diagram from single line diagram 